Hey everybody, it's Kerry Harrison, Harrison Specialties with another Lawn Striper installation video. And this is a 2018 X Mark Radius machine. It's the X series, you can see there. Yeah, Radius. It's got a 60 inch Ultra Cut Series 4 deck on it. And there's there's actually quite a few of these machines that we're going to have stripers for. Um, there's three different series, the X, the E, and the S series. There's a 60-inch deck, a 52-inch deck, and a 48-inch deck. And uh, on the serial number here is how you can tell which one you have. And Ann's kind of the expert on that uh, on that serial number business so i'll let her explain that so here's the serial or excuse me the model number yeah so you have r a for radius the x there stands for the x series and then over here towards the end you've got the 60 inch series 4 deck so the x series uh has this the series 4 deck uh the e series and the s series you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a series three deck so uh, different series deck and this the, this size here will uh, tell you what the size of the deck is and then this will determine what the uh, series is yeah so now the question that we always get is will this striper fit my machine and so that's kind of why we're going over this uh, model number stuff and I want to show you how you can verify uh, which kit will fit your machine and that's by measuring the distance between the anti-scalp wheel brackets now on these machines we've really got something different going on than we've had in quite a few years um, before 2010 we were making full-length stripers that well they were they were they were all mounted on anti-scalp wheel brackets they're, and they're a very long roller they're not the full length of the deck but they're close to it and, and uh, but in 2010 the manufacturers moved the wheels up to about here so we couldn't make a striper that would fit in there but now with this radius machine you can see there's plenty of room in there for a striper roller so um, we're making these long rollers again now this one this machine gets a 49 and a half inch long roller and the way you tell which machine you have for sure which kit will fit your machine just measure between those. Maybe I can get my head in the way of the camera probably, but I'm gonna sneak that tape in there. And I'm gonna measure right there. You can see this one's just short of 51 inches. That's kind of dark there, ain't it, Ann? With that, oh man, we should have had a better light in here. Well, hopefully you can see that. 51 inches right to the edge of the, uh, the uh, anti-scalp wheel bracket. We're measuring outside to outside. Yeah. Yeah, we are. So a 60 inch machine is going to have that spacing. Now, this is the first roller that we've developed for these radius machines. So we don't have all those dimensions right now, but we're going to be finding them out uh, over the course of time here. And uh, if you have a smaller or a different, an E series or an S with a 52 or a 48, uh, you can check on the website and, and look for those dimensions in the description. If they're not there, just give us a call measure your machine these anti-scalp wheel brackets and uh we'll be able to tell you what roller you need so um with that let's go ahead and show you how to put this on one of the benefits of having this long roller and these mounting it out here on this on these brackets is uh, you don't have to jack the machine up you don't have to take the tires off and uh another thing that's really great is we can we mount the brackets like this oh, i got a pair over here actually so we assemble the brackets, I should have said, like this. So, let's see, this is the left side bracket, this is the right side bracket, and you can see that the grease zerks are up. So, um, you want to make sure you mount the zerk, yeah, there you go, up, not down, because it'll be running into the dirt, and plus you won't be able to grease it. So it's really, uh, this is really a simple kit to install because of all this and maintain because you can get your grease gun in there really easy. So, oh, while I'm on the grease thing, uh, a lot of people ask me how often should I grease these and I always tell them, grease them uh, when you do your deck 
you know, at least that often. So if you're doing the, you know, the greasing on the spindles in your deck, you might as well hit these too. So, um, oh, to mount this now, in this installation, we're gonna be mounting it so that you're cutting a three and a half inch long uh, lot, or you're cutting at three and a half inches. And we always recommend that you start with your roller a half inch off the ground. So the way to do this, it's really simple. Set the mower to three inches. And of course, put it down so that the mower is at three inches. And then we're going to mount this up so this roller is on the ground. And of course, when we raise it to three and a half inches, it'll be up in the air a half inch. Now, uh, another thing too is uh, you can run this right on the ground if you want to. So if you're not liking the stripe that you're getting with it a half inch off the ground, you can go ahead and run it right on the ground if you want. So in this installation, one bolt goes in here and you'll see, I'm, I'm actually gonna put it in this bottom hole here. I'm gonna use this hole and that hole. We wanna keep these bolts spaced as far apart as we can. So, you just pop that in there, put a nut on there. Now I'm putting the nut on the inside because you'll see when we get to the other side, if the nut's on the outside, it interferes with this greaser. So it's better to put it in there this way. So put that in there like that. Put a nut on. And we'll just tighten it up. That's that. Hop over to the other side. And it's the same process over here. Whoop. Slide that on there. The thing that makes it so nice is these bearings, they swivel inside of this uh, flange. So they're self-aligning. So even if they're a little, little crooked looking or something, once you tighten the bolts up, they'll find their own home. Now here, I'll just show you what I was talking about. If I put this in here this way, then I put this nut on here, you can see that that's, uh, oh man, that's kind of dark, ain't it? Hopefully you can see that, that that's in the way of that grease cirque there. So we are gonna put it in the other way. Yep. And then of course put this one in. And tighten them up. Now, what we all, the only step left is these eccentric locking collars. You can see there isn't much shaft sticking out there. So what we'll do is go to the other side. And we'll just use a dead blow hammer. See how I got it way off center. And bump it over. Because those bearings self-align, we were able to do this. Because just tightening that up uh, lines up everything. So we'll put that locking collar on there. And then we got that much sticking out. So now we'll go to the other side and make sure that we got it about the same. That's pretty close. Okay, so now we'll go back to the first side because that's where I left my wrenches for that eccentric locking collar. All right, now, this is probably the most important part of the whole process here. Um, 
how do you do this? You want to make sure that you put these collars on the right way. And here's the process. You, the machine is going to be traveling that direction. So that means the roller is going to be turning this way. So you determine which way the roller is turning. Then you slide this collar on and you notice that there's a recess on that side there. And that fits into this part of this bearing. You slide that on there and you turn it the same direction that the roller turns. And all of a sudden it'll just clip in like that and you keep turning it until you can't turn it anymore. And you want to make sure you're going around this way. Then you take a punch. You'll notice that there's two holes in this. There's a blind hole and then there's a hole with a set screw in it. The blind hole is used for setting this collar so that the collar locks the inner race of the bearing to the shaft. And the way you do that is you want to use a punch like this to drive this collar around the shaft just very slightly. And that locks everything together. So I'm going to put that in there at an angle like that and just give it a whack with a hammer. I'll just hit it again. And that locks everything together. Then you take your Allen wrench, tighten it up. So all that this set screw is doing is keeping this collar from rotating. It's not really locking it in position. It's the action of this punch in that hole that locks it into position and holds it there. If you don't do it this way, these collars can come off. So now it's the same exact process on the other side, which, you know, I don't think we really need to go over because it's the exact same thing. But that's it. This, uh, this kit is installed and we didn't have to do anything to the machine. Plus it's the full length and it goes almost as wide as the tires. So this is really a great kit. I, I'm just so happy that the manufacturers, uh, you know, gave us a little more space in here so and, we can have these big rollers again. And even when this deck is raised into the transport mold for trailering, we'll, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll raise up the deck here into transport mold and you'll see that there it will not come in contact with the tires. So you still have room in there to trailer your machine in when the deck is in the transport mode and you will not come in contact with the tire. Yeah, and even if you were to raise this up, you can see that there's enough room in here. Like if you were mowing three inches or even two and a half or something, you still got enough room in here. Yep. So that's about it. So any questions or anything, give us a call. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.